Isn't it beautiful? What's happening, film nerds? Dave the Film Junkie here. Oh, look at this awesome fan art. Fan art! Yes, of course it's fan art, guys. It's not real. If it were real, I would be pissing, shitting. Yeah, I mean, everything would be coming out of me. I'd just be going, like, ecstatic right now. But um, I decided to make a video about this. It's nothing big. It's not news. This is why it's on this channel. It's on my vloggy-type channel. But uh, I believe that Jared Leto's not done. A lot of people are questioning that. Even people have asked me, do they think that Jared Leto is going to come back as playing the Joker? Because obviously in Suicide Squad... He got kind of fucked out of a lot of scenes, wasn't too happy about it, and, you know, he's a little weird. He's a weird little butterfly, that that Leto kid. That's right. I call him kid because he just doesn't age. He drinks human blood. I know he does. Um, sacrifices small children. I don't know. I don't know how he, he's not aged throughout. It's just, it's crazy. But uh, he posted this on his Instagram, and it started making the rounds. A lot of people were like, oh, my God, oh, my God, look at this, look at this. You know, just basically... Why I'm making a video is because I like to talk about this. I did post this on uh, Twitter, and, and it's make, making the rounds. So, you know, if I post something like this on Twitter, and you guys are retweeting it, favoring it, and I see you, Jenny Chap, yes, it needs to happen. Yes, I'm excited. I'm, I'm truly excited. Because there's just so much that they can still work with. And... I've said this before, I've said it many times, in Suicide Squad, Jared Little didn't have, he didn't have enough time to breathe. We didn't get to see enough of his Joker. I mean, yes, with the ultimate cut that came out, we saw a little bit more, and we saw a little bit more of what he could be. I thought the scene with him and Harley in the street, where she's holding the gun to his head and everything, I mean, that line where he goes, don't, please don't hurt me, or something like that, I'll be your friend, and he just had that smile. He's got a really great Joker smile. That's not helped. It's not helped by scarring or lips if you notice that like he's not gonna it's not gonna be a ledger or a nicholson his performance of course not you know even if he does improve but what i really like is the fact that there's no, no there's nothing helping this smile even though i guess ledgers wasn't really helping his smile but it it was part of the makeup the scars but with leto's joker he just has a great smile without having any kind of help just just got the makeup on and i guess i guess the the metal teeth do help but see there's backstory with that too i want to see when batman took his fucking gauntlet right to his damn face i want to see that and then of course uh jenny chap she did a little gif of showing of course the robin costume that's just like right there we gotta see i want to see that i want to see that flashback because they're Zack Snyder is following the source material, even though people don't want to believe that he, it's, it, I, let's not go there. And then, of course, we have a Batgirl movie coming out. We know that Batgirl's part of this universe. I don't know if they're going to touch bases with that whole thing, because it's a little touchy, because it's a man shooting a woman. And, I mean, if you read the comic book, it gets pretty bad. It gets pretty bad. It's, it's not a pleasant story. It really isn't, but... God, do I want to see it? And, I mean, the way DC and Warner Brothers is, they might do it. They might show us that. You're going to see the Joker beat the shit out of a young kid. Leave him for dead. We're going to see the Joker shoot a young lady. Taking her legs away. And taking pictures of her. And, and we, oh, man, and showed it to her father. Fucking hell. It's, it's pretty bad, but it's just like I could see his Joker doing that. I can't really see a Nicholson Joker doing it. I can't really see uh, the Ledger Joker doing it. He was more of an anarchist. Oh, I got a little spider. Ah! Fucking Spider-Man going right down there. I had to grab him. It was tiny. Anyways, guys, um, I just wanted to talk about that because even though it's fan art, yes, and somebody had to remind me that, hey, that's fan art. Like, yes, I know. <laughs> I didn't think it was real. I just... You know, it was just the fact that he posted that. If a, if, a, if an actor was done with a character, especially, you know, a character that people know, if he was done with it, he wouldn't be posting this shit. He wouldn't be. And he still posts random things. So I'm wondering if he's had some meetings with a certain Ben Affleck, a certain Matt Reeves, maybe a Jeff Johns. I don't know. See, I'm not one of those people that was freaking out because he took a picture with Zack Snyder because they were both at CinemaCon. I'm not one of those because... I, we make jokes. I mean, I made the joke and, uh, with uh, Mr. Oslek, who I uh, joke around with about this stuff. You know, he, he posted a picture with Zack Snyder, and then, of course, I, hey, is Joker in Justice League? It's like, come on. It was a photo op. Big goddamn deal. You know, yeah, I don't know. It's the people, you know how people are. Uh, anyways, guys, that's what I just wanted to talk about. I just, I, I, we, we worry that he's not done. 
that he is done, I should say. But I don't think he is. If he's still posting stuff like that, I think he's still... He might have had some meetings. He might be uh, trolling us. Who knows? He's apparently out in the desert um, doing stuff. I'm not sure what he is. You know, it's funny. This day and age, um, guy friends, they, you know, they're celebrity crushes. We, we have no idea what they're doing. But I know four of my female friends that know exactly what Jared Leto's doing. And apparently he cut his finger recently. Okay, maybe with this knife that he's holding the Batman's neck. I don't know, but there we go, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about this? Um, does this excite you? I mean, I know some people just absolutely hated his Joker, but give him give him more time. He was only in the movie for like seven, eight minutes, if that. He needs just more time. He's a talented actor, and I, I think he could really do this, this role justice, especially since we know about the, the killing of Robin. We know about Batgirl's coming. There's the possibilities of seeing all that done on the big screen. Whoa! Because, yeah, they kind of cheesed the animated flick with the killing joke. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Don't even want to remember that first half an hour. Holy shit. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about this? Give me your thoughts. And uh, please hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the other channel. Follow me on the social media stuff right above my head. All right, guys. Talk to you later.